Generic greetings and welcome to Rolling Line. This is a VR train game, the subject of which I am fairly well versed on these days. I've featured several on the channel, which includes, but it is not limited, to Trainer VR, which is more of a sandbox slash toy box thing where you're clicking together pieces of wooden track and building a nice little train set and then playing about and then putting it back in the toy box for the next day or waiting for your parents to trip over in the morning, either way. And also Derail Valley, which is more of a simulation where you are the engineer slash conductor slash driver of an engine and then connecting to an actual uh, pile of um, carriages and making a train driving off and derailing and all that sort of thing this sort of sits in the middle it's where you can well do all of that sort of thing you can build a track and drive trains let's click okay and i will show you a bit of the game i've played mm, about an hour about an hour so far so certainly not enough to give any sort of uh, in-depth review or anything but uh, you know, sharing thoughts and feelings as we progress on. So as you can see, we're in this sort of, I guess it's like a, I don't know what you call it, a museum, more of an exhibition, where you've got this like really, really, really big area, and people have made these very, very intricate detailed models. And as you can see, there's a train going on there. Let's just actually follow that. So we'll grab and uh, look down here so we can uh, get really close in and say, yep, yeah, they're fairly detailed. Very, very nice. It's, uh, you know, stylized, but it's very nice. Uh, you can sort of, push that over there actually no these are all connected so you can't but you have different options as you can see for cloning and adding uh, things to the left and right so i can just say go whoop, and we'll add a add one of these and we can pick it up and we can sort of connect it up there and we might be able to connect it on no there we go and we've now made a longer train very very nice as always i am using the oculus rift with touch controllers and it works okay it needs tweaking it needs some um some just a little bit of polishing there but to be fair it is noted on the uh, steam forum page saying that there's going to be improvements uh in the near future so i'm not going to knock it for that because it's all noted and stuff like that so there you go and it works it works okay it works fine it just uh, could do with a little bit of a polish here and there especially when it comes to the way you're holding it and stuff but anyway I digress. So we can have a quick look over here so we can easily teleport around and spinny around and we can see all of different... I've just pressed something there. Oh dear. Uh, so we can have a look at this one. This is more of an industrial landscape but also quite uh, sort of bland and dark. We've got this one over here which is like a nice little town and I'll just show you around the place. That's like a deserty one but you can see it's... Uh, they haven't finished it yet because it's, uh, you know, got an empty section there which we might play around with later on or rather we will be playing around with later on. Again, it's a fairly, fairly big place. We've got this thing here, which is like sort of deserty and canyony, and then this one, which is more of like your very base one. So this is where someone is just starting to to build it. So they've placed the track, they've got the idea, they've placed all of the track. Obviously, then you make sure it works. Then you put all your shrubs and trees and buildings and things like that. Over here, we've got some sort of industrial complex, very grey, looks like a sort of late 2000 shooter more stuff over here and that sort of juts out which is interesting i didn't know you could do that interesting anyway uh, oh by the way i've set my height for my character at the lowest level because i think your default height is up here and um, quite frankly it's disconcerting for someone like me anyway uh we've also got oh look at that that's very very nice indeed in fact do these do these waddle around or not uh, they don't hmm anyway what else have we got a uh, sort of sort of quarry type thing over there we've got pink stuff there i don't know why that's pink but anyway we've got some nice fields there that is actually very very nice indeed and then obviously we go back around to this here and um oh there actually is that's a train that we originally saw look at that that's really good doesn't it should we uh, take a better look yeah you can uh oh uh uh, uh. And we're fine. Uh, yeah, you can go down to street level and check the detail of that out. <laughs> oh, yes. That's fantastic. Actually, can we do a bit of freight hopping? Well, technically not because this isn't a freight train, but we can do some train hopping. Don't do this ever in real life. Um, I mean, live your own life, but I certainly would not recommend this. Um, it's dangerous. Especially crossing this bit here as well. No, there's a there's a reason why the sirens and flashing lights and barriers. There's a reason for all that. Either way, we can get close to this and yes, climb the side of the thing. I was actually aiming for the uh, for the landing bit, but we didn't do that. And uh, we're now on the top of the train. And uh, yeah, we'll just crawl along the train. Crawl, 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 crawl. And ooh, ooh. No, no, I don't like that. But I also don't like hang. Stand up. Okay. 
Uh, what I also don't like is that over there. That is known as a tunnel, and um, I might have to try and get across here. Uh, uh, there we go, and oh God, down, 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 down. Right. <laughs> and we're going underneath. Sweet. Uh, how do I get out of here? Okay, let's crawl. Come on, crawl forward. Crawl. Actually, can we stand up? <laughs> yes, we can. Right. There we go. And uh, no, no, let's just keep, keep down. Uh, and apparently, apparently, there's a very, very bright light up ahead there. And oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Can we get out the tunnel now, please? <laughs> right. We're standing back. Oh. Oh, see, I think my head went through the tunnel. I think that would be officially classed as dead. Uh, come back down then. <laughs> but this is one of the things you can do. You can... Yeah, that looks smooth. This is one of the things you can do. You can get into this sort of level. Where you can check out all the details. Cool. So let's go over to there. And there. And then we're back out. Sweet. Cool, that, isn't it? And then we can go to normal view. And yeah, that's the tunnel we just came through. <laughs> So, uh, what else can you do? Well, you can do this. You can drive the train. So, zero speed. Yep, there's the train. Hang on. Uh, uh, room skill. Uh, room skill not big enough. Okay, but you can go over there. Um, so, on. Headlight. Cab light. Sweet. All of this, by the way, it automatically updates based on where you are. So we are... Where are we? These always confuse me. Switch up ahead. We won't be able to do anything on that one. But basically, these switches alter the points. Which is cool. And looks like we've got some weather coming in. Oh, there we go, it's cleared up a bit. Anyway, so you can alter the speed. So that's max speed. I don't know whether the trains can actually fall off the fall off the rails I've never actually tried uh, that didn't that didn't look too bad but let's just take it down back to sort of normal speed and then we'll uh, jump back out again and then we're over here there you go that's just one of the things you can do <laughs> what I also like is this so time freeze time that did nothing uh, freeze weather well didn't freeze everything. Either way, we can alter things like sunrise. So you've got full control over lighting. Sunset. See all the background changing. Midday, standard, and night. And it's really, really pretty at night when you are going along and the lights and points and all that sort of thing. It looks very, very nice indeed. Let's take a little trip over to... Uh, actually, shall we go that out and... Is there anything over here for us to do? Ah, over there. Okay. Should have... There's one waiting for us over here. Just crawl along. Ah, there it is there. Okay. So, there's the steam train. My favourite and... Uh-oh! I think I actually only turned that on. Uh, what we can do is grab this, which is like a controller. And you can point it at a train, and you can take control. Wrong button. So, that one. Still wrong button, but uh, that demonstrates what it looks like at night. Very, very nice. Okay, back out. Still got my controller. Let's spin you round. There it is. Okay. And we want to control... Come on. We want to control that one there. And we can set the speed. So I've now got control of this thing. It says locomotive. Selected. Driving. So. You can all the speed. Manually. From here. And we've got a belt. Where we can sort of. Clip it to our belt. And there we go. So if I am say. I don't know. Over there. Somewhere. And I want to alter. That, that there. I can just pick this up and. Uh. Increase the speed, and decrease the speed. Very nice indeed. Okay, uh, what else did I want to show you? Um, well, that's open up, so I might as well show you that now. So we can go over to any of these stations, 
and we can start altering the terrain. Actually, you know what I might do first? I might uh, make sure I can actually see something by changing it to midday. Okay, so background, and go over there, and over to there. All right, so we now have we now have lots of paints. This is number six of 17. These are all of the possible things you can play. So there's your steam engines. That is a huge engine. I think it's, there is, a, there is a name for this thing. I've seen videos of it and it is massive. I think it's the one of the biggest steam engines, if not the uh, biggest made. Yes, it does have a, it does have uh, pretty much two steam engines connected together as one, and that's a real thing, or at least something uh, along those lines. <laughs> lines, <laughs> trains. <laughs> I'm so alone. Okay, so let's go for next page. Again, loads of different stock there. So rolling stock. We've got oh, like gas canisters and a crane and such, and then track, and then more track and different pieces like broken sections and bridges there's your paint and then all of the other details so i can say for example well hang on let's just say pick this up here and that is big this is our station and if i wanted to i can say put the station well i'd probably put it um i'll rotate it hang on i need to rotate it around uh there and we'll place it i don't know about there that's wrong we'll get a bit more detail in it and Place it about there. There you go, that's a little bit better. Hang on, is that right? No, it should be that side. My mistake. Oh, and I've cloned it as well. Uh, oh, God. Oh, I've, oh, I've all messed it up now. <laughs> yeah. Um, right, can, we, can I just get, get, get rid, please? There we go. It's over there somewhere. We don't really care too much. So we want to destroy. I will now pick that piece up. Yeah. Wrong piece. That piece there. Okay. So... Back over here, and we want to place it around here. So, good enough for government work. Probably the train will hit there, but you, know, you get the idea. And obviously, you can clone different pieces and pick up all bits of track like I've just done there, and then place it back down. But yeah, that's one bit there. So, if you wanted to paint it, we can do just that. Move along, and oh, that's good. Salt mine, Rainbow Six. Uh, some sort of Gas plant, ships and planes, more infrastructure, hills, granary type buildings and other such industrial kit, churches and that's nice. That's really nice. Yeah, I like that. Uh, 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 delete. Right, and then put the bits there. So yeah, that's the sort of thing you can do. So if I wanted to say um, have like you know more track over here I can sort of rotate it round and you know you can alter the state so I'm going to pick that up put that there I'm then going to uh, clone that one and then rotate it round to there and I'm going to try and clone it so it goes there oh only just only just I wonder if I can um... actually what I'm better to do is place that thing there I wonder if I can connect this up to there I don't think so I don't think we'll have the the ability to do that. No, we'd probably have to change it over there. Although, we might be able to... Nah, not there. Uh, we might be able to keep curving it around. Have it so... Mm, we'd have to pick this stuff up. Uh, what, if, what, we need, what we'd probably need to do... I'm going to have to put that back. I'd have to probably go ahead and alter that so we can edit it because by default you can't by the way there's some even even more pieces in here uh, oh no the same pieces are just uh, in a different section but yeah close that i'm actually gonna put that at the front there because i keep picking it up by accident so there is uh, options to change the uh look at that there by the way can you see that that's now extended that's this is the piece i've just put in so i believe that's extended it yes and there's the look there's that little line there which is that one so yeah, it does automatically and dynamically add all of these sections in, which is cool. I'd have to enable editing on this one. Uh, but anyway, for the time being, what I'm going to do is go for, say, paint. And we'll pick that up and then we'll say, I don't know, uh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to go back over here and I want to paint that green. There you go. 
and that looks fairly terrible. Yeah, it does look fairly terrible. Uh, <laughs> um, do you want to put this back? Normally you would just sort of put it in the waste paper bin, which I can't see, so we'll just put it down there. Although we can just say, uh, destroy, that's gone. That's the opposite of what I was trying to achieve. Destroy and destroy. There you go. And actually the sun's, no, it's all changing. It is changing. So you can imagine the sort of thing you can get up to here. I'm not going to be building a full set of track because, quite honestly, that would take me forever. And um, I really want to do a massive series on this where we just spend hours and hours and hours building train stuff. But that's when the when the, when the the updates for the uh, controllers will be in. So let's have a quick look in the town. And again, you can tell that there's been a lot of detail on this. It just, it just feels right. It just feels correct. I mean, you can hear traffic as well. There isn't any traffic, but... I mean, I don't know, it just does feel like it's got the right scale to it. There you go. And another detail, I can go over here. And I can, uh, I can alter that point. <laughs> I can alter it from here. Click. There you go, it alters it. Um, right, I want to go over there. Aha, perfect timing. There is our engine. Look at the colours on it as well. Oh, going to me now. So obviously you want to put a headlight on. Much better, much better. So this is this will change when we go into the next area. There you go. So I'm going to say switch it up to there and switch it up there. So we should go on the far left. We should be going on the far left. So we're going to cross here. Give a little bit of the horn. Let's take our head out. Very, very nice indeed. Actually, do I want to go that way? No, I should want to go all the way to the right because then we'll go closer to the sea. There you go. So if I had got this, if I would originally had it going left, we'd go that way. No, nope, but I changed it. So we should be going right now. Perfect. Perfect. Cab light. Oh, that lighten things up a bit. That's nice. That's nice. Actually, I actually think I prefer it like that. I'm waiting for a level crossing because that does look really, really nice as well. Sweet. Sweet. Oh, and there's all of the stars. I haven't tried uh, two things crashing into each other. I haven't been... I haven't got onto that level of... Uh, I would say boredom because it's generally... It's either the first thing or the last thing you do as a child when you have a train set. Uh, and I think that just determines your, your mentality. <laughs> Or at least it shows it anywhere. Either the person that crashes in the train, that crashes the trains together on day one, or when you get bored building the thing. Or maybe you didn't do it, who knows? So we're going to cross a little bit of a bridge here, uh, curving to the left. And yeah, it's just going to go around there, and there's our, there was a train. The sound as well is really, really good. There's very few things I can point the game and say that's, that's bad. I mean, apart from, like, say, the controls, which are just... The fiddly, the fiddly. Um, but, you know, it's because I'm using the Oculus there. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go back to big view. So there you are, and back in here. So that's the wrong one. Is it raining? Oh, it's raining. Very, very nice. Actually very difficult to see because it's so dark. That's why I'm going to, huh. I can go over here and we'll say sunrise. Oh, hang on. This is going to look really good. Oh no, train must have passed. Ah, oh, it's a shame. Oh, hang on, there's a car. Can we get inside the car? Ah, oh, zero out of ten. We can't get in the... Oh, we can get in the car. Rum, rum, rum. No, <laughs> it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Very, very nice. And we go back to that. But there you go. That's uh, a little bit. Just, like I say, it, I do stress a little bit. Hang on. No train select. Yeah, that is a little bit of the trains. Yeah, rolling line. It's it's very good. It's very, very, very good indeed. I have spent a little bit of time making um, bits of these, bits of the uh, bits of the track and such. But to go into this detail in VR, you're probably talking hours. Yeah, you're probably talking hours and hours and hours. I, I just like it's currently I just like sitting in the, in the in the cars in the engines and driving around this uh, very 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 nice world and having a look around. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned, but you can like disconnect stuff there and sort of push it, and you can say add a car to the left, and then you sort of connect up by just pushing it, like that. You see, yeah, and you can also 
back to the right, which I've never done before, and reverse. Oh yes, you can reverse the carriages as well and clone them. So there you go. If you want to say put them in there, and then so push those together and clink. And there we go. And if I wanted to, I could go and switch the points, push it back, connect it together. Yeah, it, it is pretty much just <laughs> the uh, the ultimate sort of VR toy box and uh, simulator. <laughs> it would be it would be a shame if I didn't put a lot of hours into this. Like I said, at the moment, probably not going to put too much in because of the uh, the controls. But I'm uh, just going to wait for the update for that one. Granary. Actually, is that granary or is that gas? That's gas, I think. Yeah, probably. Probably. Or a really weird cyberpunk uh, slash steampunk lighthouse. There you go. And yeah, uh, obviously you can see all the different colours. You can paint uh, things all sorts of colours. So if I go over here, keep picking onto that. One, two, so that we can do that. And we can say paint the track. So, so paint that there. Or you can paint the, you can paint the individual pieces of track. And, uh, can we paint these, actually? Never tried. Never actually tried painting any of these. No, it's just the ground. Just the ground. But yeah, anyway, that is a little bit of Rolling Line. I have put links in the description so you can check it out yourself. I... Ooh, see, that doesn't work when you do that. But obviously, when you do, uh, that... Then it does work. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I will hopefully be featuring more of this. It would be a dumb shame if I didn't. So there we are. That is a little bit of rolling line. I am going to be putting some more hours into this one for sure. And uh, yeah, is it is it everything I wanted in the VR train game? Sort of, sort of. It's It's got the building, it's got the conducting and driving and all that sort of thing. Yeah, it is just pretty much the ultimate sort of uh, train VR sandbox at the moment as far as i can tell either way if you are interested then links down in the description so you can check it out yourself thank you very much for watching take care and generic ah things